We got our hands on some, and I didn't have to buy them. Big shout out Cole Bob over here. It's a local guy, Josh. He ended up picking up a time lapse, and then apparently he just went and bought two mortars for the heck of it. And I had one of these proto runs that I'd never thrown. So today, let's figure out kind of how these fly. I like that we have two colors, because apparently the colors are different according to Simon. This one, it's kind of surprising that there's no stamp. Is there a story to that or like what? They just, they sell blanks. I picked up a blank the other day at the store. They had a few. I usually lean to the blanks. I think the little special edition stamps. And these are like the exact same feeling. 172. And there is a difference between the protos that we've already found. So this is what we're looking at. You can see this one is actually like significantly flatter, the proto, than the stock run is right here. This one has a lot more like dome to it, but the parting line is still equally as high. What's super interesting about that is it means that this one like feels much more substantial in your hand than the Proto, and the Proto already felt like like a relatively heavy, like substantial disc. I did also bring out some destroyers and an interval for finish line discs just to throw against them because like in the hand, I kind of feel like this is gonna be as stable, if not more stable than this. It just won't move as much left to right, but it feels like, ooh, it might glide more. I'm, I'm honestly really, to think that these are straighter, I, I have my doubts. We're just gonna kind of rip them. You think we, we can reach that fence, you think, right? Uh, yeah, probably. It'll be, it'll be close. It, it's hard to get to those houses. So yeah. we probably shouldn't throw them full power, but let's give us some rips could, that yeah. way, and then we're gonna play nine holes against one another. Bottom of the box, whoever loses a hole gets two shots on that hole because we're gonna throw the normal run, and then they're gonna get to throw the proto and see if they can make the correction. I'm gonna throw the proto first. I've actually never thrown this. I'm guessing you gotta really get a rip on it. Yeah. You can definitely tell, I think one of the characteristics of that flatter disc is when it started to hyzer, it kind of like sharply moved that way instead of gliding that way, which hopefully this doesn't do as much. Well, a little shankier. Whoa. Definitely glidier. Way glidier. <laughs> like I didn't hit you that. You turned it a little bit more I and turned it, it a little going. bit more. It de it's definitely flippier. Here's the blank one first. The blank one. A little stand up hyzer. It like it like and popped it, up a little bit, and you're not throwing that super hard. So. And it wasn't as sharp looking as that as your first one. No, the first one de you could definitely tell it's flatter just by the flight even. That stands up a little bit more, but I throw those pretty similar. I know the colors make a difference. We'll see if the yellow versus orange does. And then here, real quick, I'm just gonna throw a couple destroyers. This is what I thought the proto was like stability wise. The more that I've thrown this disc, and I guess the faster my arm has gotten, um, like the better my form, this doesn't, it's not as overstable as I initially had thought it was. 2023 run of Calvin's was a straighter run than this 2021 run, but this, as you can see, is super, super domey. I'm gonna guess, honestly, that this is gonna fly between the flat proto and the stock one that we just threw. It might be close to that yellow one. Like definitely more stable than the, than the orange one. Don't go over the fence. Oh, you're good. Oh, okay. it's right there. I like lodged it in the fence. <laughs> Definitely more stable, but when it got back, it's like, that's what I mean, is it's very similar stability to the Proto time-lapse. But if you watch the way that it glided left, it was much more gentle, which is what domier discs tend to do. This is the 2021, it's slightly beat in. This is the one that I aced with. I'm gonna not really put a full rip into this one because I don't want to throw it over the fence. But that is much more similar to the new, that's very similar, but more stable. Thank you, Tree. Oh yeah, my gosh. Yeah. So I just picked up the party time stamp or the special edition stamp. And it was, you'd say 150, 200 feet, you think? At away? least, yeah. Yeah, it was like 100, 150 plus feet from the Proto. And I do think like I do, I turned it over a little bit more, but like not enough for there to be 150 feet of a difference. I feel like they rib. I feel like they, they corrected them better. Simon initially had said, even in his recent videos, that like, oh, I was trying to make a distance driver that was like for everybody. And I think that these, are definitely closer to that because the for everybody doesn't mean it's gonna fly the same for everybody because no disc is gonna do that. Just based off those first throws, obviously we're gonna learn them over these nine holes. A driver that will be like that meat hook for the slower arm speed, but will get some usability the faster you speed up. You might need to be able to throw closer to 370 plus to get like different flights out of the different discs. So maybe there's still some room to work with from there. But with this high of a parting line and this domey of a disc, there's kind of only so much you can do to retool it without completely changing the name. So if we see like an 11 speed that's kind of flippy in the Simon line soon, maybe that's what he was going for with this one. And he just decided to get two solid discs out of it. So they just initially, they just feel, one thing I've noticed is they just feel like a bigger diameter, a bigger disc. Mm and I think you're gonna get a little more glide out of it. I have to throw it a few more times to get some more info. But first,
first, we got maybe a 520 foot hole, like basically straight line with this tree, so you can't really see it. Could potentially get down there. The T path sucks though. It's not gonna get all the way down there, but that should give us a. Are we playing this as a three or a four? Kind of a tweener hole. It's definitely more of a par four than it is a par three. I'd yeah, say. you gotta. It's it feels like an eagle if you get it. So yeah, we'll play it as a four. Why not? I like your line there though. Kind of a little high, but a little anti on it. Yeah, Let's a see. little more nose down. The wind will push it a lot more. Ooh, get through. That's a birdie play. That's down there. We got like not a super long up shot. I think I'm going with the. Uh, Oh, oh yeah. man, that Little thing deep. saved you. Maybe I do. Sit. Okay, maybe I do feel weird. I can you long. <laughs> so they're not great approach discs necessarily. Maybe not. Shout out Broderick. He sent me up here and he said, uh, if you can't throw this disc, then you're trash. So we're gonna pull with that one today. Great pot. Oh, oh yeah! Thank you, Broderick. I appreciate you. <laughs> All right, this disc is not. Shout bad. out to Broderick. I've never seen like a, just like a regular basket lean so heavily. It's not even a year old either. This, uh, yeah, that's bad. So this is the best way to film video. You don't have to bring a bag. He takes the bag. He wipes all your discs off for you. What a guy. Taco Baba. Yeah. This one's interesting. It's written. It's they call it 330 and probably ranges to that, if not a little closer. But it's a really interesting line with this tree in the uphill. Keep going back and forth with the double discs until someone loses the box. So we get two shots here. That way I can kind of see how this yellow one flies as well. See if it is relatively stable and he could throw the proto and see if it's also relatively stable. Beautiful, um, what is it? It's not a fault, it's a feature of the yeah. course. Orange one, this disc is awesome. Heck yeah. Okay, you're seeing a little stability there for sure. This helps because it's a little more nose up than the last throws have been, so you can definitely see it's gonna be a little more stable. Give this one a little bit better of a rip, a little more Anheuser, nose down. That's a sweet throw. Yeah. Okay, they're still like stable for sure. And I think to like give it a month, I don't think they're gonna be fading like that. No, I am interested to see how these beat it. No one has a beat in time lapse yet. So that's the, the one thing I hate is... about this course is you, there's not a lot of like difficulty except it makes you throw straight up and straight down, straight up and straight down. For like three holes on a course, awesome. For 14, not so much. Not as fun. <laughs> oh, Ooh, I thought you had that, it looked good. It's close. Next hole we're gonna turn into a par four. Love that. Let's go. I had to make that so the video got interesting and we, someone got the proto, you know? Yeah. Yeah, this next hole, you got this basket right up here by the bench. And typically from there, you play to that basket. That's a tee pad, not a basket. Instead though, we're gonna go from there down all the way to the basket that you can see way down there. I can't see anything in my camera because the sun is blinding right now. So hopefully I pointed to the right spot, but it's very similar to what you play in the 303 Open, which is an A tier that they play in May every year. It just lets you unleash on the first shot and then you have to have a little bit touchier of a second one, but it probably plays close to 530, but very downhill and it's about a 750 foot hole. Maybe those numbers are off. I never know. I, I always say something plays like something. It's always like the biggest guess in the world. Let me snag an orange one, whichever. Yeah, let me get you a dry one. Yeah, I can dry it off. That's what God gave you shirts for. <laughs> I'm trying to just get confident that I won't slip and I have zero confidence that I won't slip. I know. Yeah, they, they're pushy on the Anheuser. Like that didn't want to fight out of it at all. Yeah, I mean, you get a little flip out of it for sure. Nice. Dang, looks like I'm just throwing hyzers today. Yeah. Oh, you got to turn that one, baby. It's a pot. This is a basket position. So, if we're playing the longs here, I think I did a pretty good job. <laughs> you would have got the easy eagle that they have here on the... Yeah, the like 430 foot eagle or whatever four, it is. Yeah. Plays only like 410 feet, maybe. A little shot. These ones are a little bit more dry if you wanted one of these, but... Uh, we'll deal with it. My stomach is feeling too warm anyways, you know? Yeah, you need to cool, cool that, down. Cool that core. 
I gotta remember this thing kind of wants to go, so I don't have to like juice it like I keep thinking I do like the protos. Come on. Definitely thought I'd push more. Let me see another one real fast. Yeah, yeah. I think it's because the disc was wet. I, you can just say I'm bad, it's fine. Cause look, that one's parked. All right, drop it, dude. When you throw me my putter, it better not hit the ground. Oh, <laughs> sh I have to think of that now? <laughs> After the putt, make the putt first. No! Oh, no. That's tough. That <laughs> is tough. Jeez. Great putt, really good putt. Oh my thank gosh, you, that was you. equally as far. Maybe I should have thought about the fact that I have so many different colored piers and I brought out the one white one that I own. Literally the only white one for the day that we're playing in snow. All right, so we're trying to make this course a little more difficult. I've noticed recently, not recently, but for like seven months, I've just been complaining about how easy a lot of Denver courses are. And like a mentality I've been trying to like garner more recently is like, okay, the courses are easy. Shut up about it, make them hard. So there's gonna be some holes like this one, which unfortunately the long pad is like super snowed over. So we're not gonna play that. But instead of just like playing from here, which is the middle pad to that basket, we're gonna play to the far basket. And so we're gonna make a little bit more safari holes almost always on the channel, just cause if a hole is like too easy for a disc or for a shot or just for trading, just make it harder. I gotta learn to stop complaining and learn to like start doing something about it. But I still don't have the box. So really got one chance to there. I think it's about 330 or 340. So it's probably close to 415, 420 slightly uphill with the water carry. Do you want to be like a little uber aggressive and play hazard short of the sidewalk? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Hazard yeah. short of the sidewalk? Yeah. Sidewalk's probably 360-ish. Skip. Oh, I think I skipped off the sidewalk. I think you're like park. 10 feet parked. <laughs> It's tough getting ground, grabbing the ground with your feet. Go, go, go. Made it. Made it. Nice. Yeah, that makes this whole lot tougher too. That's the other thing you can do at a lot of these courses is like change up OBs or hazards or whatever. I'm gonna throw the other one first though. Yeah, I don't think Proto's gonna make it. Watching all of our throws and all these, like these are usable discs because usable has a very big semantic range. <laughs> it's ice skating now. Oh no. Oh, we'll get it. Oh, we're definitely gonna get you it. Bet, you bet your... That was a bad throw. <laughs> there's no way. No, there's no way. I think it's just gonna break. All right, somehow. I found some rope. Shout out to Badlands for being kind of trashy, but it might be long enough uh, if we can get stuff out of it. You don't have anything? Do you have a knife on you? Uh, oh, that works very well. <gasps> There's no way. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, let's go, dude. Oh no. Oh, shh. <laughs> we're good, we're you good. You almost threw yourself in there. Yeah. Oh, oh, come on. That's a good start, though. No! Oh, get it! Look at this guy. Oh my gosh, what Professional. a Professional. Thanks, man. Massive shout out to Todd and in turn, shout out to another round for that. Yes. Especially when I launch mine out of hubris. <laughs> we would have got it in a couple hours, but saved us some time, let the snow melt a little bit. That was our plan. Well, yeah. my plan, I didn't tell you about if, it. Sorry. I feel warm now. Just needed something to warm us up. No, oh, man. Thing. Definitely gonna be playing that hole more. Maybe even from the lawn. That'd be sick. I'm honestly gonna like take a lot of time, probably post them on the second channel instead of the main channel because people don't like course playthroughs as much, obviously, but go subscribe to Banana Froth. I'm posting there a lot. Trying to get that channel monetized, so go watch those videos, please. So this, ba this basket's right up there. 
I haven't played this position ever. I think it's time to give these guys a rip on a forehand and see how they fly. Ooh, I definitely rolled my wrist. Oh, buddy. Sorry, right, you got two shots. Skip, skip, skip. Oh, bounce, not skip. Not nose up, though. That's getting cut. Jeez, terrible. Oof, good stop, good stop. Oh, that's money, dude. Skip. Oh, let's go. Great shot. Thanks. Come on. Oof. Just switch them. Yeah. I missed him, but I mean, you already knew that was in the basket. Like, don't worry <laughs> yeah. about that. So this Love pad it. typically plays to the basket that's just behind that tree. Instead, to keep things a little interesting, we've got another pad down there that normally plays to that basket. So we're instead gonna play to that basket. Oh, your box, I get the double today. OB, sidewalk, and beyond. And you never played this hole, have you? I no. never played this hole. Yeah. Not this, no. So distance control, figuring it out would be a little interesting. Oh. Yeah, it stays over. I like that the first one you threw on the ah. is like the most hyzer hole we've had. Sit. Safe. Oh, wow. <laughs> We're gonna like knife over the, for the proto and ace it real fast. <laughs> Hit the pole. <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't want a big putt. You know, you got 20, you got the same putt as your last hole. Next hole is gonna be fun. We're making another safari one. Hey, I'm not missed any low. I'm all right with that. That was a solid looking putt. <laughs> nice putt, dude. I missed it so that I could still have the proto, you know? <laughs> it's just, it's a little bit of strategy. Man, this course is actually like turning out to be pretty interesting because instead of playing what I thought we were gonna do, which is just switch these baskets, we've already played to that basket from across the water. So we're gonna play to the one that we were standing by as we were trying to figure out getting the disc out of the water. I'm gonna guess it plays it probably plays 450-ish. We're only gonna call OB Sidewalk River. So you can't land on the sidewalk, which is gonna be hard anyways, but short or long, do whatever. It'd be a really good get. I think we're gonna test the frozen pond, hopefully. Oh, that'd be sick. It is so hard to wanna like commit to your footwork. Black hey, that's the hardest part. Oh! I almost black aced I that. thought you did it. Oh, that was also hard that we're playing the headwind right now. I'm gonna try to like match the hill with a like this is like distance line type of shot. If I can execute it. Oh, wind's pushing it. And I didn't really hit my line, I still was scared. Did I put it on the ice again? No, it's short, good. You almost hit a crow. That's a really good tree. If it didn't hit that tree, that was, we're not getting that That might've been on the ice. Similar, just not as stupid. Much better. And that one definitely can take the the uh, yeah. the power. I think that is close to the circle. It's definitely circle two, if not better. I think I'm gonna start liking this course again because I think you can make a really good layout here. All right, Kobobski, you got a luck dog, so you better make this. Hey, that's it. I had Nicky to go rolled. for it. Think you rolled? Yeah. Oh, I missed it low. <laughs> Oh, we're just making butts that way now. Oh, you still got the box, let's go. Shoot, nice really? Nice to huck yeah. So this hole, is gonna be interesting. We're playing from here, not to that first basket you can barely see, to the second basket that you can really barely see. I think we're gonna call this one a par five, cause it is far. It's probably close to 900 feet, and we're gonna make the sidewalk, not the sidewalk, but the right of the sidewalk is gonna be OB. So if you're on the sidewalk, you can play it. So you can play for a good landing zone, I guess. But you gotta land left of it, which is why it's gonna be a par five, because it's like, there's weird ravines there. You're really gonna wanna have to juice something up to close to where that basket is. Otherwise, your footing's gonna be bad unless you're really left. The nice thing is, upper bad line is almost never crowded, because it's not that phenomenal of a course. And so you're basically always gonna be able to play this, so. Get out of those reeds, skip. That'll be tough. I don't know if I'm out of the reeds. We're gonna play right side hazard instead of OB. Okay. That way you don't just like re-tee. You really wanna rip it. Well, it's safe. I didn't see it, but it's safe. I think that's safe. There it is. 
Yeah, man, these things are still stable. Like we are throwing into a tailwind right now, but yeah, they're 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 not like flip up discs really. That thing's beefy. That's safe. All right, so this definitely I think is a par four. It's for sure reachable, and so you probably want to play like that tree. This is a I like this hole a lot though. We'll probably actually start after today. We'll probably call it OB on the right side. I think it's probably better. That way you have to dump it because it's not as far as I thought. But yeah, and it, for now I think it's definitely totally good. teaching you how to place your shots. Yeah, it's you're you're not get you can't get it all on one. You know. Uh oh, get up, get up, big skip, big skip. I didn't see it. I think you're back in the hazard again. No way. So I'm pretty sure you could see it because I set you up about eye level and I can barely see the band, but it's up there. I'm gonna steal one of these guys yep, yep. and throw from the proto. <laughs> Finally using it as advantage. Yeah, I mean, still probably got about 350-ish, maybe a little more, but the sidewalk does come in on the right side. So if you throw the backhand, there's a hill. Perfect, go in. Oh, I, got, I got a look, I got a look. A little touchy time-lapse approach. Under the basket, sit, Woo! please. Good luck for birdie. I like this hole. This is a good hole. And I guess since we call it par five up there, this is a look for eagle, I guess. Yeah, yeah. But it's a par four. No! What is going on? No! Sit! Oh no! Oh no! He's your friend. What am I doing? Dang it, we oh. like this hole and it just... <sighs> what am I doing? Oh, that's right, yeah, yeah. And then I got a five, six. Oh Whoa. man. Did I get a six, two, really? I think you got a five, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. No way. <laughs> no way, dude. You just wanted to keep the prototype. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. That's I wanted to keep, keep the prototype. Yep, you're right. So. Last hole, hole nine here. And so this hole, technically the T-pad for 18, which goes up the hill, plus stock Stockheiser instead. It's probably a 373, 80-ish shot to a basket that's behind that one main tree. I'll point out where it is in the edit. There is a lake that can flood there. We're gonna play like surrounded by water is OB, so you don't have to like worry about that at all. Difficult, you can definitely go the wide side and try to crash it in. But if you crash into those bushes, you're screwed. And if you take the forehand, you gotta get it all the way there. Otherwise you're gonna be in a bad lie, so. Your box, I still get the proto. Oh boy. I'm glad that you pointed out that, that was the only reason why that I did that. That was the only reason. We, it was very kind of you. I did easy par so five, we us. both figured out a way to bogey it. <laughs> it's got a flip. Oh, that's gonna be tough. That, I, I like that, that's a good defense of the hole. This is probably not gonna work, but I wanna, since these are Simon line discs, I'm gonna try to take a little bit of a Simon line. And since I have the proto that actually counts, we're gonna try the turnover that like gets the flat when it gets there. Okay, too stable. Yeah, I'm gonna commit to that. I'm gonna throw the proto the same way. Oh, that's so screwed. <laughs> All right. So I think we have an equally far putt probably. I think so. That's probably just a little bit better of a line, but you snuck around enough that you gave yourself a look. And if you make this and I miss, we got playoffs. Oh, that's a respectable run though. He didn't right. leave it low at all. I'm implementing a new rule for my channel. If it's one stroke, you can't lay up for the win. Uh, Unless like a layup is like a shot. Like if it's a putt that you are running, you gotta run it. That's the rules. Oh, it didn't, it was even. Oh, that was in the basket. Wasn't even gonna matter. He was gonna just. It was in the basket. That's in. That's how you do it. Big shout out Josh for letting me borrow the time lapses. We're gonna do some ace runs real fast because we got a aceable hole here with these guys. I think it's a fine disc. If they like come out in more plastics and it changes the stability, which is MVPs want, I would be super down, maybe even lighter weights. I know some people swear by like lightweight MVP stuff versus backsweep, but this iteration of time lapse I think is more usable than this, and I like that it like is glidy on it. But I think personally, like it's not like my favorite slot of disc in general. Maybe if I get another 100 feet of distance, then it's like kind of flipping up and being a little more fun for me. But I prefer something that has a little bit more shape just as like a distance driver that I like. So if this is a fission time lapse, I think I'd be uh, in love with it, but maybe it's a little bit to do with the Denver elevation. Really solid disc, really good disc. MVP and Simon did a really good job, but it's not something that like excites me necessarily like the hype would 
lead a lot of people to believe, so. I think they feel great in the hand. That's kind of the biggest thing for me is just right off the bat, they feel like something I'd want to throw. Yeah. You're not going to be upset with your the stability. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to get you a good distance, but it's also not just going to flip over and, and turn yeah. into a roller disc. Yeah, you know? I think where they really shine is like the shot that I threw a lot today, which is that just like, probably this amount of Anheuser. Like the amount, if the basket was where all of my shots had landed on the last hole, that's basically the amount of Anheuser that they're really good on because they'll just go on that, glide on it, but they will come out of it and give you a finish where a lot of drivers are either gonna be way too meat hooky and like get out of it. And a lot of drivers are also just gonna like turn and burn on that amount. So this is like a good overstable, but not like crazy overstable distance driver. Let's ace, baby. Never a chance. Safe. Get there, get there, get there. Lift, please, skip, please. Oh, <laughs> what happened? This thing's already got a little boo-boo. All right, mine, sucker. <laughs> you want that one? Yeah, for sure. Are you sure? Yeah, big time. Also, don't worry, Josh was a stand-up guy and made sure that I stole one of his discs from him from winning, so we'll give it the old assignment line treatment.